guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know i am ali and today's video is going to be books 30 20 through 30 i finished reading them um i'm really really enjoying sharing the books that i'm reading um hope you guys like this too please give it a thumbs up if you do if you're not subscribed please subscribe it really makes my day and let's just jump into it so book one is 20 by nine by ali wiesel i did read this for my lit class which is um holocaust literature and I read that in high school. It's a really, really good book. It's definitely, like, a book you can, like I said, incorporate in high school because I read it in high school. It's really, really good. 21, Surviving Auschwitz by Primo Levi. I've never read that before. Um, It's definitely more not from his perspective as were nights from his perspective. Um, Surviving Auschwitz is kind of like an overall narration, which I really, really liked as well. Um, 22, This Way to the Gas, Ladies and Gents. That one was hard for me to get through, um, just because it is kind of emotional. <laughs> um, again, these are all for my lit class, so I'm trying not to give too much away, just because I have papers to write. Um, the Last Jew of Tribeca by Rican um, was really, really good. 24, Irene's Child, which is a collection of short stories, which I really, really enjoyed. They're definitely shorter pieces. And I really, really liked that. While Six Million Died, again, hard for me to get through, um, but was really, really good. 26, Itchman in Jerusalem was really, really good as well. Now, these ones were actually for fun that are coming up. So that was 26, 27, If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy, which is a remake of Cinderella. But it was really, 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 really good. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm not big on remakes, but this book was definitely worth the read was really good um and definitely a really different spin than most um Cinderella remakes um just because of the fact that a the main character was plus size which I feel is very very good especially for like it's a YA novel so it's definitely good for like young readers to read stuff with inclusion like that and it also um is like just completely different like it involves a reality show which is like really really cool and really really interesting number 28 Dumplin by Jim Julie Murphy I've read this before I've read it again it's really really good again another great YA novel for young girls I really like her style of writing and I really really like the fact that a lot of it includes like plus size and like issues with like body and weight because I feel like even as almost 30 I'm finally getting like past that stage with my body as where I feel like it starts even younger and younger and I feel more books that include stuff about body image and weight is really really good for young girls and 29 fairest of them all by Serena Valentino this is the evil queen story from Snow White I absolutely loved it I am obsessed with this series I am buying I'm going crazy um, it was really, really good. The Beast Within, My Beauty and the Beast Loving Heart, which I shared on my Instagram. Fell in love with this book. It's the Beast story from his version, and I really, 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 really liked it. Again, that is, that's book two. So, Ferris and Law is book one. Book two is Beast Within, and then I'm heading into the other villain books. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. 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 Please subscribe.